Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Prince back at it with another video for y'all guys. So, finally got the Z01 back, man. Well, not finally. I've been had it back for, um, you know, a few days now. You know, they took it took them uh, probably, what, almost a week to take care of the problem. And yes, it was the oil pump, guy. The oil pump went out. Apparently, it's a common problem with these cars. You would think with it being a common problem with these cars, used or new, Chevy, would do a recall on these things, you know what I'm saying? But nah, so um, yeah, I took it in, got it taken care of, man. Car's running crazy right now, you know, so I'm um, happy about that. Glad to get the car back, you know, because I was a little bit, you know, I was a little bit shocked because I was like, hold on, man, what's going on with this, you know? But, you know, I took it in, they got it fixed, no problem, man. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera. Yeah, guys, so the, uh, the beast is back. You know what I'm saying? It is back, got it cleaned up. It's a little cleaning day here today, you know, got the Challenger cleaned up, got the bike back there cleaned up, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, but um, yeah, guys, as I said, it was the oil pump. It's a very common problem with uh, with these cars, you know what I'm saying? The Z06, the Z01, you know, like even base, base um, Chevy is having the problems, you know, so, you know, that's something that I feel like Chevy should be recalling you know but apparently they're not recalling it they're just waiting for it to break so they can you can go in there and um get it fixed hopefully you have warranty on it because if you if not <laughs> I, the, I think the to repair it it was even though it's covered it was um one place quoted me six thousand one chevy dealership quoted me six thousand six thousand dollars yeah to replace this motherfucker you know so i'm like hey man whatever you know but got it dealt with got it taken care of man the car is running 100 percent. you know as soon as i drove it off the out the um the chevy dealership your boy went in i went crazy too boy i went because i was like i'm gonna go ahead and open this thing up just in case it want to break again <laughs> go ahead and take it right back there you know what i'm saying so but yeah man this thing is uh yes sir i mean obviously you ain't gonna see it but as i said guys in my previous video yep there you go it's tough tough now i hope y'all are happy <laughs> somebody saying oh i don't know about cars because my thing was down here man shut your ass up man talk too damn much bro if you know about cars, you know this thing. This this is probably too too filled up. You know what I'm saying? Cause once it start heating up, that shit gonna. But hey, whatever. They fill it up at the dealership, so I ain't mad at them. You know what I'm saying? But hey, whatever, man. You know. And nah, I'm not a car manufacturer, my guy. You know. But yeah, guys. So when the problem first arose, I thought it was the oil pressure sensor, which is in there, as I showed y'all in my last video. Oil pressure sensor is in there to get to it. You have to take off the intake, take all this off, and um, remove the belt, you know, your supercharger belt, you know, and um, you'll get in there to it. You know, I replaced that myself, but that didn't fix the problem. You know, so when I took it there with the code, I gave them the code and everything, and, you know, obviously they diagnosed the car and all that, and, you know, they figure out that, well, they know it was that, so they replaced the, they replaced the oil pump. It's probably somewhere down. I don't even know where the oil pump is at, to be honest. I've never had to deal with oil pump and all that crap, you know what I'm saying? So, but it's replaced, car's running pressure, you know what I'm saying? I'm ready to lay down that whooping on the Hellcat, but hey, yeah, man. But I'm just glad to have the car back, guys, you know, so. Yep, 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 yep. It's my little motorcycle here, man, yeah. I haven't even been taking this thing out, bro. <laughs> It's, I mean, it's a little cold right now in Texas, man. It's a little cold in Houston, so, you know, even if I want to, I can't. But, I, you know, it was just a cleaning day. Took them out, got it cleaned up. You know, Charlie got Charlie cleaned up, wiped down a little bit. You know, that's my baby right there. Yeah, man. And I said, guys, I keep saying I'm going to do a review for my for my Mopar people. You know, if y'all if y'all are OG to the channel, y'all kind of know how, how long this thing been here, man. It's been here for a while. You know, still got the red mats in there. I'm going to do, you know, just a, I think a three-year review on them, man. I've been having the mats for three years, and they're still holding up. So we're going to do a review on that. Let me give you all a little quick walk around the Chally, man. That way y'all can see I got the 22s on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, if y'all know my style, all blacked out. Come on now. Y'all know me, headlights and everything. Well, we got to 
We had to block out, block out the headlights and everything. You know, all blacked out, guys. Yes, sir. You know, I do need it. it need some work though. It need like you know a little bit of body work. I need a touch up right here. My girl actually scratched my car right here. You know, she <laughs> she was backing out and got too close and scratched my car. She's notorious for hitting my car in the parking in the in the driveway. Believe me. <laughs> She's gonna watch this and kick my ass, but yeah. She'll hit my car parked behind her. I'm like, yeah, man, but that's what happens when you give little people big cars, you know, they, she can't see much out of that big ass Durango, you know, but, but yeah, guys, it's just, as I say, it's just a quick update, man, on the car. Finally got it back, man. You know, I'm happy to have it back, but yeah, that code, guys, if you watch the last video, I don't remember the code, I think it was P06D something, DD, you know, that's the all pump. You know, if that if you get that code, that's your oil pump. So take it to the dealership. Luckily, I didn't damage anything in my car. You had full, you know, the oil was, the oil life was at like 90%, you know. So when the oil pump went out, I didn't damage the engine because I guess he had enough oil to regulate it. And plus, I wasn't speeding or nothing, you know. Normally when you get that, because I've, I've seen some videos where people get the same cold and there there you can hear their metal to metal just you know clinging in there you know so i didn't have that my car was just it was still running smooth but it just you know say don't park don't drive service vehicle whatever whatever you know and got it towed to the i can't even speak got it towed to the dealership and yeah they got it taken care of for your boy we are back so yeah man let's get it but appreciate y'all for watching man don't forget to comment like and subscribe i'll back at you boy peace